All right, this is the infamous aerialist problem. And uh, the aerialist or the trapeze artist is on a high platform. He's holding onto a trapeze attached to a support by an eight meter long cord. So we'll draw something like this, and that's eight meters. And so he's hanging on here to make him be a point source. So um, the angle at with the vertical at that um, at that time is right here, and that's 41 degrees. So he's going to swing to the other side, but he's not going to get all the way to the other side. He's going to release the trapeze at the instant it is 0.75 meters below its initial height. So we're going to say that he gets over to about like here. So he's swinging down, swinging down this way, and he gets. Um, so I'm going to draw a horizontal line from the the original height of the thing. Let's just draw this across here, okay? And um, so he swings up this way, and then we'll say right here, um, right here, he is 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 75 meters uh, below this original uh, height. I hope, hope that part makes sense, that you see that that's how that would work. So um, this from here down all the way down to here is still uh, 8 meters, because that's still the length of the cord. It just hasn't swung all the way up here to this original height yet. Um, what we want to do is we want to figure out what is this angle? What is this angle from the vertical at which point that, that is happening? Okay, so um, we have triangles and we do a triangle trig. So the first thing we could do is we, we could use this triangle right here. We have a right triangle right there. And we could figure out what, uh, figure out what this side is right here in between here okay so that's what we want to do and we um, we would so I'll just I'll label that we'll label that X okay so um, we have an angle we have a hypotenuse and we have X and we'd want to use the cosine so we'd have cosine cosine of 41 should equal the adjacent side which is X over 8 and so X would equal 8 times the cosine of 41 and we can figure out what X is and this, uh, if I do that on my calculator, this X here was like 6.04, was from, was from uh, here uh, down to here. So this length right here is 6.04. Okay, so now uh, let's think about another triangle. Let's, uh, we know it's 0.75 right down here. So let's take that little 0.75 and let's draw it right here on the end of that line also. So I'm going to take that 0.75 over here, and I'm just going to draw it right down onto here. So that's 0.75 as well. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line over to there, and I'm going to make this new triangle right here. Okay? So I, knew, I know that this uh, hypotenuse, this hypotenuse right here, from here all the way down to here, is 8 meters. So it's still the length of the cord. And I actually know what this side is over here now because it's 6.04 is from here to here, and then there's 0.75 added on. So that total is 6.78 from here down to here. So I have a triangle here, and I know the hypotenuse is 8, and I know this adjacent side is 6.79, 6.79, I think is what it is. So I can do another... Uh, um, cosine problem to figure out this angle. So this time I don't know the angle, so I do cosine of the angle would equal the adjacent side 6.79 over uh, 8. So I take 6.79 divided by 8, I take the inverse cosine and I get this new angle. And of course I, if you just look at the problem, this angle should be less than 41, right? It should be less than 41 because it's not all the way back up to uh, it's not all the way back up to this line. If it swings down here and swings all the way back up to this line, then it'd be symmetrical and it'd be 41 degrees in here also. But So this is not quite up to the thing, so it's going to be uh, something less than 41. And if you, uh, if you do the math, uh, you should get like about 32 degrees. Okay, hope that helps.